What's up YouTube, JM Comics here, and breaking news my fellow Nintendo fans, you've probably heard this already, but The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, or the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild as Nintendo's calling it, has been delayed into t spring 2023, but we all kind of know March 2023. And while the majority of the internet believes this is a terrible thing to happen, most people are sad, some people are outraged, personally I'm kind of happy about this. And before we get into this video, I want to disclaim something before we start. Um, <clears throat> do not let me sway your opinions, okay? I'm going to try to argue that it's a good thing this game has been delayed and I'm happy about it. But if you are sad about this game being delayed or mad if you're very extreme, then be mad, be sad. That's your opinion, okay? Do what you want to do. Think for yourselves. But I'm just going to explain what I think and why I believe that way. So, yeah. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below your opinions on, I guess, Breath of the Wild 1 and what you think is happening with Breath of the Wild 2. And if you're happy or sad or mad about this delay or you just don't care. And here are my top three reasons, the only three reasons, why I think it's a good thing that Breath of the Wild 2 was delayed into 2023. My first reason is probably the most valid one. Miyamoto once said, A delayed good game is better than... A rushed bad game and it makes a lot of sense when you think about it and it definitely applies to this situation considering breath of the wild was such a masterpiece and completely revolutionized open world gaming and is one of the best games ever made nintendo has a lot of pressure on them to make the best sequel they can possibly make and if they want to do that they're going to need as much time and resources as possible to make the best sequel they can make so this delay is giving them more time to work on the game, and I think that's a good thing. It can only be a good thing. And we've seen what happens with first games before. <clears throat> Cyberpunk. Even if that was delayed multiple times. But not the point here. The point is, if they need to delay it, let them delay it, okay? It's better to have them delay it than, than pull a CD Projekt Red and just release it in its buggy state. And my second point here is probably less valid than the first point. But personally, to me, it's the most important point. And that is, 2023 is a packed year. Look at what we've already gotten so far. We had Pokemon Legends Arceus. We had Elden Ring. We had <clears throat> Project Triangle Strategy. We had Horizon Forbidden West on the PlayStation. And we just got Kirby in the Forgotten Land. An amazing game I'm playing through, by the way. And I will review soon on the channel within the next two months. And even some smaller games like Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, which I haven't played as a Borderlands fan, but I might get to eventually, like in five years or something. I don't know. But yeah, that, that's what we've gotten so far. Look what we're getting soon. We're getting Bayonetta 3. We're getting Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Super Mario Strikers. Fire Emblem Warriors. <coughs> God of War Ragnarok. Forspoken, possibly. Starfield. Like, guys, we are absolutely spoiled this year. And I don't think we need to rush Nintendo into releasing Breath of the Wild 2 to make this a complete year. It's already a complete year. And we won't have enough time to play the other games that are coming out. And personally... I don't want to spend my entire year playing games, so I'm completely fine with Nintendo moving Breath of the Wild 2 back. Additionally, I am in school, so for me, years are kind of like, there's actual years and then there's school years. So Breath of the Wild is basically in the same school year for me right now, like 2022 to 2023, so I don't care that much. But that's just a me thing. And my third point is my least valid point, but I'll just bring it up anyway. Nintendo Switch is coming to an end soon. We all know that. Nintendo has said it's in the middle of its lifespan, but I don't trust them that much in terms of that. They're going to like make a revision, a Switch Pro or a Switch 2, Super Switch or something soon. So, yeah, Nintendo can't release all of their big games in 2022. they got to save some stuff for like 2023 and 2024 before the Switch officially comes to an end. Like right now, the schedule is just Metroid Prime 4, Hollow Knight Silk Song, Silk Song, and Sports Story for now. And now Breath of the Wild 2 along with them, which makes a lot of sense. We don't need Bayonetta 3 and Breath of the Wild 2 in the same year. We don't need it along with Horizon Forbidden West and God of War Ragnarok just as gamers. Like, this works out for everyone. So, yeah. In my opinion, I'm kind of happy, and I think it's a good I, it's a good thing that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, or the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, has been delayed into 2023. If you disagree with me, comment it down below, and Jim Comics out.